Now, welcome to the Empathic Artist. Now we're going to demonstrate uh, another technique here for filling up a whole page quickly using the unfortunately empty ice cream container. Why is the ice cream always gone? My collection of acrylic paint, which is the cheapest I could find, a large pair of trusty scissors, a piece of paper with tape in the corners, you don't need to do this part, and I've got my spray box with tape around, and I'm just going to anchor that down there, as such, this can get a little messy. Okay, so what am I going to do? You don't always need the ice cream container. You can use gift cards for this, those plastic gift cards that seem to be everywhere, old credit cards. But I just want to cut that. And I want to make a very technical piece of equipment called the scraper. And there's one right there. Taking care not to cut myself, and there's another scraper. This piece here can be used as my palette. Uh, to demonstrate this technique, I'm going to be using burnt sienna, because apparently you can't get unburnt. And I'm just going to take my palette, and I'm just going to put a nut there, a nut there and one over here. Makes sense so far. Uh, I've got some uh, semi-matte yellow green just for a contrast. And I'll put a glob in there, fill in the gap. Let the colours overlap a little. Uh, try not to blend them. And what else have I got here? I, I don't, don't generally use too much black, but I've got some black satin. Now, how you apply your scraper to this, or the, use the scraper, is entirely up to you. But I like to come in with it flat. Pick up my paint. Go to the edge and apply a little bit of pressure, but then sort of where my thumb is, I'm going to be pushing down as I move along. I've got a nice ridge here. I'll leave that for the time being. I might even let that dry. Now, you can also, you don't have to start at the edge, you can start there and do something like that. The black is dominating, which is why I don't use it that often. You get the idea. Okay, another great crazy idea, just want to scrape that off because hey, it's a very uh, technical piece of equipment this. This time I'm going to go with uh, some Scarlet and I'm going to put some Copper and this time I'm going to apply directly onto the scraper. So I'm starting at almost vertical, and then as I progress along, I'm coming down to a flatter and flatter angle. And for the sake of it, I'm going to smear all around like that. 
just to fill in this gap here. Schmicko. Another technique you could use, just some ideas, just kicking around in my head. Don't worry, I've got some examples here to show you. And you might have already preempted this one. And that is, I'm going to put the globs of paint directly on the paper. Uh, what have we got here? Got red. Uh, I'll go with the dark green. I'll go dark green over here. Just the smallest amount of dark green there. Picked up some of the red, all the better. And some burnt umber because you can't have unburnt umber. Don't know what umber is, don't know what sienna is, but they come burnt. So just directly on the paper, grab my uh, scraper. Now if you want this to dry in a hurry, you don't quite like what you've got, or just a whole other effect you can have, is to take your scraper and scrape the paint off. And then you can actually reuse it down here. Now the colours are just starting to muddy up, but why wouldn't you use that as a background or even just as a piece of art in its own right? And then if you let it dry, you can scan it into your computer, digitise it a little bit. I'm just going to leave that there because here's some examples that I made earlier. This was using the different browns where I started the scrape in the middle, so I put it on and then scraped it back off again. And then just freehanded uh, a track over it. Uh, this was the topic of heart, so I used uh, browns, greens, and then I did the dot painting from a previous video for the heart. This was using the greens, and once again I did the dots, and these big globs of paint for the ghost eyes, they stand up almost 10 millimeters or a centimeter off the page. And that's using, uh, I can see I've got the copper in there, the dark green, and some of the, the glue. And here's one where I've used dark brown and red, and then done a sling. And this is because... I am the imperfect artist! And I'm just going to get out of here before the neighbours start yelling at me again. <laughs>